Hello and welcome back to my channel. This very loud walker. My shoes are loud. Okay. okay. It's so tall. And we're not. <coughs> You're the focal point. Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be doing some Montessori type sensory play. We just got back from Walmart and got a bunch of different stuff for that. And I wanted to take you along and show you what we're making for our kids. Ignore my voice. I bought something last week and it just has not come back yet. So we are just struggling with that. Um, and just all the talking and everything like that does not help. And if you like this video and you find anything in it valuable and would like to find your way back to our channel for some more content like this, Feel free to go ahead and subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and hit like and comment down below. That being said, let's go ahead and show you what we got from Walmart today to make these. Some of the things that we ended up getting for this activity slash all these activities is a huge bag of baking soda. Oftentimes you can find those little boxes of them at like Walmart or whatever, but we found a huge one at Costco. Actually, my parents found a huge one at Costco and they got it for me. That is gonna be so much help for these kinds of things because you use so much baking soda for sensory activities and it will prevent us from going and buying more and more every single time we do want to do them so something that i've been really wanting to get for uriah this goes hand in hand with the baking soda activities but these um farm animals which he can cover this with some of the stuff that we make with the baking soda um, and then uncover the animals and whatnot i also like this idea because it helps him learn how to do farm animal noises and then white vinegar just vinegar in general um if you mix that with baking soda it causes a reaction so we wanted to be able to put that in this little bottle so you can squeeze it over the animals and uncover them and then for elias and i guess your eye could do this too um but we got these big ziploc bags i already started filling it with some of this hair gel and inside of that we are also going to put some plastic confetti and then we also got some googly eyes that we're going to put in those so the way that we're gonna do this is tummy time for Uriah or for Elias. We're gonna tape it on the ground in front of him and he can just kind of squish it around. And then for Uriah, we can tape it to a window and he can play with it on the window so the light comes through and all that fun jazz. All right, so to start, I'm gonna make these little Ziploc baggies. I already started to make one. I put the gel in it already so you can kind of see that. I will make a second one so you can see how much gel I'm gonna be putting in each one. This one I'm gonna make with the confetti. So here's the confetti that we got. It was like 99 cents. You just pour that in there. Hi, Nala. Hi, Curly. You're so sweet. So this is a huge package of it. I feel like this is gonna get a lot of use out of it. I'm not gonna use this entire pack on one little sensory activity. I'm just gonna dump a little bit in there. I will go ahead and post links to all of the things that we got. I'm pretty sure that everything can be found on Amazon. All right, so here's what we have to work with. Um, basically, all of the gel is in here, and um, I'm just kind of trying to mix it up a little bit so that you can see more of the confetti. But essentially what we're gonna do with this is tape it all around the edges. Actually, I'll probably squeeze out all of the air so that you can ease, more easily feel all the gel. But then I'm gonna tape it on all edges um, on the ground. That way Elias can just like lay on his tummy and squish it. And then for Uriah, when we use the same thing, we're gonna tape it to the window and um, he can just do the same thing, squish it around, play with the confetti pieces. And that's really that for that one, super simple. And I am sure the kids will love it, but I will show them playing with it when they're both awake from their nap, because right now they're both sleeping. It's kind of satisfying. I think I would even play with this. And then I want to make some fun sensory activities for Raya when he wakes up with the baking soda. So that thing is earthy. Okay, so I just taped it to the ground so that Elias can play with it. Right here. Ooh. He's drooling on it. Oh. Okay, so word of advice, get better tape. A good idea would also be to freeze this yeah. because then it wouldn't, 
it would get like cold, but not frozen just because it's gel. And then I feel good on this too. I'm gonna turn in some new gums. Okay, it's not so much for the tape, but I definitely recommend getting like packing tape would be good, except blue tape. Whatever that blue tape is. Packaging tape? Uriah woke up from his nap, and while he was napping, Lexi and I were getting some cabin fever. Really, really wanted to get out of the house. It's kind of a gloomy day, and we're both just like incredibly tired. I'm so exhausted. And we're just gonna go occupy our minds a little bit so that we can keep, I don't know. You know when you just get really, really exhausted and sitting around doing nothing on a gloomy day just isn't helping? You gotta get out and... Yeah get moving around and doing we're stuff. We're just so. exhausted. But we're gonna take Uriah and Elias to the Children's Museum and then we're gonna go to a brewery. What you got there? It's kind of a sugar overload, don't you think? Oh, and my soda. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep, there's your shoes. That was super fun. Great we, success! We ended up running into someone that we knew it while we were there, and you already just had a blast just with all the stuff that was around. It was kind of sensory overload for me, but. <laughs> it was good for him to get out and socialize. Yeah, he was just like very content the entire time we were there. For sure. And just like even walking around back to the car, um, just being in the mall, going on the escalator. Esca I was confused. Going escalator. On the excavator. And elevator. I will get back to the house and do um, the sensor, the rest of the sensory stuff. We just wanted to get out of the house today before doing that just because we were going a little bit stir crazy at home. Um, but the next part of this video, I will show the sensory stuff for Uriah. Elias thinks he needs to talk. Yeah, Elias has got a lot to say. But anyway. He had a lot of fun too. He was walking around, doing flips, doing all that kind of, you know, baby stuff. I was just joking for the record. I thought it was fun. Stressful. Um, there was a huge tornado spotted in a town close to us, and it was Head heading right toward, toward us. So, 45 mile hours. We ended up like sprinting out of the basement. This is what we're working with here. Yeah, I've 
absolutely still large hail like this in Altoona. This we had no idea it was supposed to get like that. Like we're supposed to have company tonight and they're coming kind of from far away so I don't think that's gonna happen now because for obvious reasons it's crazy outside so we are just gonna hang out in the basement I guess for a little while. Hey guys so it is a few <laughs> All right, so it is a few days later. We were obviously not affected too badly by the weather. The storm ended up being a little bit more south than us. So the towns around us that did get hit by it got hit pretty hard. So our hearts definitely go out to those towns and the people who were affected by it. Um, but we wanted to hop on here and get the sensory activity rolling. We are going to put together a fun little uh, sensory activity for Uriah today. So what we're gonna be doing today is some sort of baking soda activity, which I haven't totally decided what one yet. Um, there's kind of a lot that I want to try, and the one that I was planning on doing takes a few hours to solidify in the freezer. And we kind of want to do it right now because Mr. is feeling a little grumpy and restless today. Do you love the animals? Hey, buddy. Like this one too? Why? All right, are you ready? <gasps> oh, that could be good for them. Let's get. Give him a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice, buddy. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up all of the farm. No, 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 no. Ugh. We're gonna co cover up all the farm animals, and then we can oh, uncover them with our squirt bottle. Very official, I know. What I want to do is make um, baking soda eggs. So you can do mix it with cornstarch and water and then form the uh, mixture around the animals and then freeze it and then use white vinegar to um, spray the animals and uncover them and so you can discover the animals. So we'll do that probably tomorrow when I've had time to put those in the freezer. But for now, um, if you're looking for something that's more quick to get your kids entertained quickly or if you don't have time to wait for the eggs to like harden in the freezer for a couple hours, what we're gonna do is just cover them. Oh! No, can't wait, not yet. Hang on, Raya. Just add some food coloring in here. I'm just gonna do like a squirt. Ooh, I just got it on myself. Just rub it in. You got a tattoo there. Yes. <laughs> he looks so confused. Oh. Oh. Or not cover this up. Fill this up. Okay. Maybe put a little less food coloring in there. Yeah. Yeah. Are you dancing? Yeah. Oh no. Where's your belly? Where's your belly? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we mixed the vinegar with food coloring. Um, we did a lot of food coloring, so it's gonna be very dark. But then I'm gonna show him so he knows what to do. But you just squirt it on there and it foams. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! Is that so cool? Raya! That's fun. Can you say, whoa? Uh, I want to try. Can you share with daddy? Can I try? Squeeze it. Yeah. My turn. Uh, hmm? uh, whoa. Ooh. Can you mix it around? Ah. Chop, 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 chop. Ooh. We'll give you some more vinegar in there. Mm. Do you want to try? Mm. Very interesting texture. I know. It's like kind of goofy. Mm. 
Look how pretty that is. Sorry I'm taking your sensory activity. I wanna get a This is more for the parents. <laughs> Probably more fun than your eye is. Oh, say moo. Good job. Good job. Can you say yay? <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet, Uriah. Pick it up. That's a cow. That is going to be it for today's vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for coming by and doing these sensory activities with us. We are so thrilled to have you guys here. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you are alerted every time we post. Click like, comment down below, and share with your friends and family. And we cannot wait to see you guys next time. Don't forget to tell someone that you love them. Bye.